Today we're going to introduce you to the more common surgical instruments and how to use them. We're going to start with thumb forceps. These are DeBakey thumb forceps and they're used to grasp tissue. What makes them DeBakey thumb forceps is that the jaws on the graspers are atraumatic. It's used for grasping delicate tissue and it's held between my thumb and my index, middle, and ring fingers. Using all three of these fingers helps control the grasp and the amount of compression on the tissue. We also have Metzabom scissors and it's used for cutting tissue. This particular Metzabom scissors is curved. It is held by placing your thumb in one ring and your ring finger in the other ring. You'll notice that the thumb and the finger are only inserted part ways into the ring. And you'll also notice that my middle and index finger are used to balance and control the scissors. This allows me good control for incising tissue and holding it this way also allows me to switch instruments quickly. If my thumb and fingers were inserted all of the way, I'd have a harder time controlling it, and I'd have a hard harder time releasing the instrument. We have a needle holder or a needle driver. It has a flat surface and it's used for grasping needles. It also has a ratchet to lock down on the needles. It's held with your thumb and ring finger and your middle and index finger are used to control the needle holder. This is an Olsen Hager needle holder because it's a combination needle holder and scissors. We also have towel clamps. These towel clamps are used to secure drapes to patient's tissue, usually skin. And these are penetrating because they have the sharp points. We also have non-penetrating. There are a variety of blade handles, scalpel blade handles. The most common blade handle that's in use is the number three blade handle and that's this one right here. There's also um, a number uh, seven blade handle. It's a little skinnier. And then we have several different blades. The most common blade that's used is the number 10 blade. We also have the number 15 blade which is simply a smaller version and then a number 15, excuse me, a number 11 blade. The proper grasp of the scalpel handle can be done one of two ways. The first way is the pencil grip. And so similar to holding a pencil, you hold the blade handle with your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, and depending on the length of the scalpel handle, your ring finger. Alternatively, you can hold the scalpel handle below uh, your fingers. You can hold the scalpel handle using the tip, tips of your fingers and your thumb in this position. 